and on this sight shall sad Apollo weep. So workman leaves blood and tears to draw. Thou art a lord, and nothing but a lord. Thou hast a lady, far more beautiful than any woman in this waning age. And so it is that she hath shed for thee, like envious floods are run her lovely face. She was the fairest creature in the world, and yet she is inferior to none. Am I a lord? And have I such a lady? Or do I dream? Or have I dreamed till now? I do not sleep. I see. I hear. I speak. Upon my life, I am a lord indeed. I am not a king, not Christopher's life. We'll bring our lady hither to our sight. And once again, I promise this morning to stay. Now, what need your mightiness to wash your hands? Enjoy to see what you said. Once again, you knew good what you were. Past fifteen years you've had difference in the drink, or when you wake, so wake as though you slept. It's fifteen years. I might say a goodly nap. But did I not speak of all that time? Oh yes, my lord. By very idle words, for though you lay here in this pretty chamber, sometimes you must call out the fit of the house. I had a woman's maid of the house. My lord, you know no hearts, nor no such maid, nor no such men as you reckon up. A Stephen Sly, no John Knox of Greece, and Peter Trump and Henry Temperdale, and twenty names of such as these, as men that never were, nor no man ever saw. Thank you. Thou shalt not lose by it. The Lord be thanked for my good amends. Amen. Amen. Affairs, my lord. Mary, I farewell. It is cheer enough. Now, who's there? May I please, your honour players, be come to offer you a play. A play? How oh, brave, sir. <coughs> you name my plays. Aye, sir. My, my lord, you may have a tragical or a commodity, or what you will. A comedy, thou should say, will shame us all. What's the name of your comedy? It is called The Taming of a Shrew. And it's a good lesson for us all, us married men. The Taming of a Shrew? Well, that's excellent. Sure. He's something foolish, but whatsoever he says, see you not dash out of countenance. Is there a fool in the place, then? Hi, sir. When will they begin? Even when it please your honour, they be ready. I'll go with them again, their play. Do. But if you come again. I warrant you, my lord. I will not leave the glass. Pullman in Portugal's part. For how close to his old day, I am no. That is not. My youngest daughter, until I have found a husband for the elder. And either of you both love Katarina. <laughs> for I know you well and love you well. And leave you shall have to court her at your back. To cart her, rather, she's too rough for me. <laughs> there, there, Hortensia, will you anyway? I pray you, sir. Is it your will to make a stay of me amongst these mates? Mates, mate, I'll mean you that. No mates for you, unless you are of gentle, mild marvel. Well, then, sir, you shall never need to fear. It was it is not halfway to a heart, but if it were, doubt not her care should be to comb you on model with a three-legged stool and bring you office and use you like a fool. Well, from all such devils, may the good Lord deliver us. And me too, good Lord. Master, it is a fast time to warn. That wench is stark mad or wonderful for all of us. In the other silence, so I see. Maid's wild behaviour and sobriety, peace, charming. None. Gaze your filling. Gentlemen, look soon I may make good. That which I have said, Bianca, get me in. Let it not displease thee, dear girl. I will love thee nevertheless. A pretty Pete. He must best put finger in the eye, and she knew why. Sister, content you and my discontent. Father, to your pleasure, humbly I subscribe. I got an instrument to be my company, on them to gaze and practice by myself. <laughs> 